Hello everyone, welcome back, Savert is here, coming back with a new series and a new video, finally after going out, you know, being uh, missing for about how many days or weeks, look, I really doesn't remember and I doesn't care, but I am here right now and what way is better than making a new series to, you know, celebrate my comeback or whatever, <laughs> either way. This will be what if Deku had a stand, and I'm talking to all JoJo's fans that are watching this videos right now, alright? I want you to show yourself down in the comments, show me, show me your stand powers, alright? <laughs> I want to see every single one of you that watched, you know, JoJo Bizarre Adventure, because this series will be <clears throat> bizarre, as, well, let's just get right into the video. With Izuku Midoriya, a kid that he's, well... Unluckily, a quirkless kid with no power, no abilities, unlike his other friends in the school, always been bullied by his friends, his old friend Katsuki Bakugo that once was his old friend in the, well, kindergarten, but when he knew that Izuku didn't have a quirk, everything changed for him. He saw him as a, well, a little insect, something to be crushed on the street. But Izuku even then didn't lose hope to become a true hero, just like his idol, All Might and his number one. What a heroic heart that he have. Well, right now let's get into Izuku in the middle school and the last day to be precise. Right now he's sitting on his, <clears throat> he of course, bench or, you know, seat. And the teacher coming through the door saying, well... Hello everyone, today we are going to, this will be your last day of middle school, so you really should think about your future. I have some papers here that you might want to fill in of what you want to do in the future, like become a police officer or a doctor or something like that. To be honest, I know all already what you all want to be, so why do I even have to bother with giving every single one of you a paper of this? You all want to be heroes, right? As he throw the papers up into the air and everyone starts getting excited by using their quirks. Immediately after that, Katsuki Baku jump on his desk and said, Teach, don't put me with these losers here. They will be lucky to become a sidekick to a sidekick of a dealister. The only real deal here is me, and I will be the next number one hero, so you all should remember that. As everyone starts talking about how Bakugo, well, want to be the number one hero. And the teacher speaks up after looking into Bakugo's paper saying, Ah, yeah, Katsuki Bakugo, you want to get into UA, I believe. As everyone getting surprised and one of the students said, UA, I heard that, you know, getting into that school is impossible. And he want to go there? Yeah, I mean, he have a solid chance, maybe. As Bakugo said, maybe, <laughs> me, maybe. Are you fucking with me? I am, why will gonna get into you, A, eh? and you all should see that coming. You all will gonna see me sitting inside that school <clears throat> from the mighty place of Class 1A, becoming the number one hero, so you all should remember this day. As after that, the teacher looking through the papers to, well, to see another name. A name of... Izuku Midoriya, I see that you also want to go into UA, eh, right? As everyone looking back on Izuku and suddenly a moment of silence comes before they all start laughing at him and Bakugo said, what did I just heard? As Izuku, you know, lifting his hand, uh, you know, nervously saying, yeah, teach, I want to go into, but before he managed to continue, Bakugo throwing an explosion on his desk saying, UA, you, quirkless, yeah, what a stupid joke. Look here, Deku. If I saw you even in the side the walls of UA, you will be a dead man walking. As after that, immediately, <clears throat> the teacher said, Katsuki Baku, stop with Midoriya. Leave him alone. Duh, whatever. You will, you know, Deku, why don't you just die? It will be better for you. As after that, the teacher said, that's enough, Katsuki. As, well, Katsuki sat back on his desk. And after the class ended, Izuku started putting all his things inside his bag, trying to get out of the school as fast as possible, because he knew that Bakugo was gonna follow him after what he heard. But too bad that Bakugo was faster than him, and he pushed him against the wall, saying, Look here, Deku, what did you say about going into UA? As Izuku nervously smiling, saying, Yeah, I mean... I just want to go to become a hero of... <laughs>
a hero, you, as he throw an explosion at him and saying, bullshit, the only thing that you will gonna become is an absolute nothing, as he taking his notebook and said, and what do you even do with these, like hell if anybody will gonna get used out of these things. You are just an insect. Why don't you just an act like one? As after that, Baku thrown an explosion at Izuku's notebook, and Baku Izuku said, uh, "My notebook, you." As Baku said, "Oh, what are you going to do about this, Deku?" As he threw it out of the window and said, "Just let me tell you something. Let me give you a solid idea about how you could possibly get a quirk." As he put his hand on Izuku's shoulder, and his Baku hands start to smoke, while Izuku getting nervous that he might throw an explosion into his body again. And Baku smiling into his face saying, why don't you, you know, go up into the roof and throw yourself off of it. And maybe you could wish to get a quirk in your next life. That will be a, a bigger, you will gonna have a bigger chance with that other than getting into you, A. Eh? As Baku just leave Izuku shocked standing there and said, just listen to this. I'm doing this to protect you, idiot. Don't kill yourself. As he just left the place leaving Izuku behind to think about what Baku said, throwing himself off the roof. That's crazy. Either way, he just shook that idea off of his head, taking his bag, going out, taking his notebook that fell into the water, and the finding the fishes just eating it. In the end, he starts walking down a tunnel and saying to himself, throw yourself off the roof. Wish I got a quirk in my next life. <sighs> Is he always acting like this to me? I never done anything bad to him. He's always like, explosion there, explosion that. And I'm like, blah, blah, blah. I am Katsuki Baku, the great explosion god. Fucking asshole. As Izuku starts tearing up, saying, I just want a quirk. I just, I'm quirkless. Isn't that enough for me? <laughs> Izuku, don't get sad. <laughs> always keep a smile on your face. That's what All Might always saying, right? <laughs> I will, I will always keep a smile on my face, and I will get a, become a hero. As after that, from behind, he hears sounds saying, "Oh yeah, you will get to become for sure." But first of all, give me your body. As suddenly Izuku turned around to see a giant, well, <laughs> blob of a green sludge covering him, and after that starts suffocating him as Izuku inside the sledge saying, What the hell is this? As the sledge villain said, I know that that freak was in town, but thanks to you, kid, I can finally hide. Well, I will gonna say this, you are my hero for sure, as... After that, Izuku starts getting suffocated more and more, and his vision starts getting blurry while the sledge villain speaking up, saying, just stop resisting, it will be easier that way. As Izuku starts losing his vision slowly and slowly until he see a glimpse of hope. A glimpse of a very shining hope, a standing figure of the number one hero All Might come into the place and screaming on the top of his head, you know, long saying, Texas, smash! As immediately he throw his punch into the sludge villain, blowing him into pieces, freeing the 16 years old kid out of the grab of the death. As after that, Izuku fall on the ground, unconscious for a little bit, until, until he wake up to find the number one hero All Might slapping on his face, saying, kid, 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 kid. As Izuku jumping back, saying, up, 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 it, it, All Might! As All Might said, oh, Great, you're still alive. <laughs> Great, um, are you okay? As Izuku said, I'm, 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 I'm perfectly fine. It's, 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 it's just that. Uh, uh, don't worry, calm down there, kid. You might kill yourself <laughs> that way. <laughs> Either way, stand up. As All Might just helping Izuku stand up and said, I have a question. Do you have a water bottle or anything that I could possibly <clears throat> collect the villain with? As Izuku said, oh, yeah, right away, as he just gave him a water bottle, and All Might said, thank you. As All Might just collecting the sledge villain, and after that, he said, <clears throat> well, is there is anything that I could possibly do for you more than this? <clears throat> as Izuku said, what do you mean? Like, <clears throat> have you forgot something? As Izuku said, Oh, yeah, uh, as All Izuku just going into his back, taking his notebook and said, could you please sign my notebook? As All Might said, I thought so. 
Well, here, as he just signed it for him, and after that, Izuku said, Thank you, as All Might said, Well then, I have to go! Duty calls, as Iz All Might was about to jump away, but Izuku remembered something important, so he said, Wait, All Might! And immediately he got hold of All Might's leg. And All Might jumping into the air, thinking to himself, saying, Hmm, why am I feeling a little bit extra heavy today? As he looked down to see the kid just holding his leg, as he said, Kid, what are you doing? Leave my leg le leg now as izuku said if i did that i will gonna die please just get me into the ground as all my said oh yeah make sure to not fall all right as all my jump into the top in top of one of their uh, buildings as he izuku just you know fall on his knees saying ah, 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 i doesn't want to do that again as all my said kid <clears throat> He, that was very reckless and dangerous. Can I possibly know what is the thing that you want to tell me that is so important that you would have risked, you know, risked your life for? As Izuku said, it's just a question that I want to ask you. Could you please answer it to me? Sure thing, just tell me here the question. As Izuku said, All Might, you see, when I was a little kid, I never had a quirk. I just, I am quirkless. But at the same time, I always looked up to you. You were you were always a shining light in the dark. You were always the symbol of peace that protecting people and always making them feel like they are saved by only your presence. These kind of things is things that I always want to do. Make people fear, feel safe. Make them feel that their lives are in a good hand and make them feel alright and not in danger because of a presence of some random villain. I always wanted to be a great hero just like you. The only problem that I had is just that I'm quirkless. So please All Might answer my question as he looked at All Might to see him have turned into a skeleton form and he said what the uh, are you fake as All Might said calm down kid I'm not fake but while you were telling me your life story I <laughs> you know was getting weaker. As Izuku said, oh, what do you mean getting weaker? As All Might lifting his t-shirt, you know, t-shirt up uh, and showing Izuku the horrible injury on the side of his stomach saying, I got this from a villain attack that, you know, one villain attacked me one day and he gave me this <laughs> injury. I lost half of my stomach back in that day. But I'm still, well, alive. I really cannot do as much as hero work as I can before, but... Well, at least I'm alive, as Izuku said. Who, does, who is the villain that did that to you? Is it, as Izuku named a random villain that, well, one of the most dangerous villains that Izuku know that have ever fought at All Might? As All Might said, well, you sure do did your research, but the villain that gave me this thing will kinda make that villain that you just talked about looks like a joke. As Izuku said, oh, but... What about my question? I just want to tell you, can I become a great hero like you, even if I was quirkless? As All Might looking at Izuku and said, <laughs> Kid, I was a hero, and I was a hero for a long time. I saw lots of villains with lots of different quirks and personalities and powers, and you can already see one of the villains what have done to me and turned me into what I am today. So, a quirkless hero is not, is just a joke. I'm just gonna tell you this. You can't be a hero without a, a quirk. There's a lots of dangerous villains in the world that will not gonna hesitate to kill you. And you have already seen that they, how much damage they could possibly do to someone. Just look at me. I've been turned into this and <laughs> my life has been cut short just because of one attack of a, another villain that I've fought it back in the day. So no, a quirkless hero, I doesn't see that happen. But you could possibly become a police officer. The people make fun of them for taking the villains away after the hero is done from the job, but it's an honest job. <coughs> As Izuku seeing All Might throwing some blood out of his mouth. Yeah, look, I told you. <coughs> It's just not possible, kid. It's not bad to have a dream, but make sure that your dreams are achievable.
goodbye as all my talk passed Izuku into the well <clears throat> out of the roof leaving Izuku standing there just thinking to himself he can't be a hero his number one hero all might have told him himself he can't be a hero there is nothing as a quirkless hero that's just a joke and he just <clears throat> saw how weakened all might have become from a villain that <clears throat> well he doesn't really know who's that villain but either way Izuku's just fall on his knees and just sit down crying thinking about what all might just told him and while he's just thinking to himself far a little bit close into Izuku a little bit you know a couple of uh, some kilometers away an old man flying inside what seemed to be a paper or a card holding a, a long spear or an arrow you could say is just flying saying to himself come on come on just tell me about anybody that could possibly have a potential to get a stand I can't waste any more time my son need me and I need to find someone that could possibly help him just show me anybody I promised Kira that I will not go in to fall down I will gonna find anybody that could possibly have a potential to have a, a stand and I will gonna make sure that he will gonna protect my son as after that he this old man was searching around the whole world for years two years to be precise about someone that could possibly have a stand a power that well <laughs> as he called it a power of someone's spirit and he didn't find any anybody until now as suddenly the spear or the arrow inside his hand starts shaking and pointing into one of the direction as the guy said finally someone that have some potential come on as he starts holding this arrow until he see a kid on the top of one of the roofs just sitting on the ground crying and said a kid a kid that could possibly awaken his stand as he see the spear or the arrow just shaking as he said well either way as long as the spear is pointing at him I have to do it as immediately Izuku right now sitting down on the ground still crying as he suddenly stand up trying to go away back into his house but suddenly before he even managed to turn around he feels something piercing through him uh, what the hell as he looked down to see a golden arrow just coming through his stomach from the from his back and coming out of his stomach as suddenly Izuku fall on his knees and said what the hell is this where <coughs> this this thing came from <laughs> as Izuku just fall on his face and said why is the world is so <laughs> why anything of this happening to me as he loses consciousness the old man seeing Izuku still shaking visibly shaking as he said well he's still alive come on come on as well, Izuku still shaking and it seemed that he, well, st stayed alive as the old man said perfect as he take the air out of his body and start flying away saying, all right, this kid will be great. He have a great potential to become a stand user in the future. It will be better for me to leave him to figure out his powers. Now I have to search for more stand users as he just took his arrow and start flying away searching for anybody else that could possibly have the potential of getting a stand while Izuku still bleeding on the top of the building after a couple of minutes Izuku waking up in a pile of blood saying what the hell has happened to me an arrow have uh, uh, my stomach as he looked down to see himself perfectly fine well his clothes are a little bit opened up and ripped up and he's sleeping in a pile of blood but either than that he's perfect as he said what happened <laughs> I, I swear to God that I felt something piercing through my stomach. It was a, a golden arrow. What happened to me? <laughs> and why do I feel kind of... Ouch, 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 my back. <sighs> this weird, this day is just getting weirder and weirder. I just... Oh, where am I? As he remembered everything and said, oh, yeah, all might. As Izuku starts walking down the stairs of the building, coming down into 
the street still walking, think to himself saying, what did you thought? Of course he would have told you that you will be just a quirkless, a quirkless hero, really? A hero? What a joke. Deep inside you, you know about that, but you just were refusing it all along. As suddenly, something get him out of his thoughts. An explosion happened, and Izuku said, what? An explosion? As he go through the people to see that Katsuki has been covered by the same sludge villain that Izuku has once been captured inside. As he said, Bakugo? As Izuku seeing the sludge villain, and after that, he look a little bit into the left to see All Might in his, well, small might form just looking into this scene, holding his injury, and Izuku said, what the, how did this happen? As Izuku starts remembering some things, remembering the time when he got hold of All Might leg. Did I, did I made All Might drop the sludge villain? Is this my fault? As he just looking into the eyes of Bakugo that right now filled with fear. A horrible fear, as Izuku is just seeing him. And he can only see a scared look, someone that's really grabbing for the string of life, wishing for someone to help him, but nobody is helping him. He tried to come closer, but one of the heroes stopping him saying, Kid, this is dangerous, he can't get closer. We doesn't have the right quirks to capture this villain. As Izuku just looking into Bakugo, looking into All Might, and he just said, this is all my fault. This is all my fault because of me, Bakugo, right now in danger, and I, I have... As suddenly Izuku just pushing the hero away and starts, well, running inside the scene. And he said, why am I running inside? Stop moving, you idiot, you're gonna kill yourself. As the hero said, kid, what the fuck are you doing? As Izuku starts running inside, his body moving on its own, and the sludge villain seeing him, he launched a tentacle of sludge on him, but Izuku just jumped out into the left side and g grabbing his back, throwing it on the sludge villain. All Might watching this, but immediately the sludge villain being a little bit blinded and Bakugo being freed for a minute to get a breath and said, <sighs> What the fuck are you doing, Deku? Get away, I don't need your help. As Izuku said, Are you sure? Because you seem really that you need help. As after that, Bakugo just looking into Izuku that's right now crying and the sludge villain said, Oh, you little! As he hold his hand or his sludge arm throwing it on Izuku. Bug seeing all, you know, the sludge villain was about to throw his hand into Izuku to capture him too. All Might was about to jump in, but Baku throwing an explosion in front of the sludge villain, trying to stop him from doing whatever he was about to do to Izuku. And the smoke covered the place. But when it clears up, All Might jump into the the scene, trying to clear up the smoke, and he only see Izuku on the ground and Bakugo on the ground with what it seems to be a standing figure of a man that having a giant card inside his chest without the sludge villain anywhere to be seen as this standing figure or whatever is this thing just looking at All Might and suddenly just disappeared, melted, just, you know, visibly gone as All Might said, what the... and Izuku start coughing saying, <coughs> Bakugo, are you okay? As Bakugo said, Where the fuck is that sludge villain have gone? As All Might said, Kids, are you okay? As after that, everyone starts rushing in, and All Might helping Izuku and Bakugo stand up and said, Both of you, are you okay? As Bakugo said, I'm fine, but where is that fucking sludge villain? As All Might said, what? That's what I want to ask you, young man. As he looked at Izuku, and Izuku said, uh, Me? I, I doesn't know anything. As All Might said, <laughs> What do you say? What do you think? Where did the sludge villain have gone? That was reckless from you to just jump in. As Izuku said, sorry, I just... As everyone starts coming closer into Izuku and the media starts coming closer saying, Hey kid, what did you felt when you start running in? And how did you d manage to defend the sludge villain? And where did it even go? As Izuku said, managed to defeat the sludge villain? I, I didn't defeat anybody and I doesn't even know where it's gone. As All My said, everyone leave the kid alone. <laughs> Either way, it's good that the kid right now is safe. <clears throat> the heroes will gonna take care of the rest. As for you, as he just pointing on the media and they just coming closer into All Might after finally realizing that is All Might. And start getting some footage and the heroes start, you know, 
graduating Bakugan his amazing quirk while screaming in Izuku's face about how reckless that was from him. After that, Izuku just looking down and putting his hand inside his pocket. And while the heroes are just talking about him, he felt something inside his pocket, but he decided to look at it later. Right now the sun is setting and after finally the media dunning from talking with All Might and Izuku finally being freed from the vil you know, the heroes, he finally starts walking back into his house. Until from behind he hears sound saying, Hey, Daku! As Izuku looking behind to see Katsuki and Bakugo said, I didn't need your help. You didn't save my life. Understand? You are quirkless and I doesn't need the help of someone weak as you. So, don't think that you, that I owe you something. As Bakugo just turned around and started walking away and Izuku said, Seriously? You just came all the way here just to tell me this? You never change, as Izuku starts walking away, and after that, finally decides to look what's inside his pocket, to see, well, what it seemed to be a card, a play card. But before he managed to look at it for a, a long time, suddenly someone slide in front of him saying, Ha ha, young man, I am here, as Izuku said, um, All Might, what are you? <clears throat> Kid, I just came here to tell you that I am sorry about what I how I talked with you in front of the media and as suddenly All Might buffed down into a small might form and said, coughing blood saying, <coughs> ah damn it, as Izuku said, oh yeah, this thing, as All Might said, well, I just forget about my right now situation, I just want to tell you that I'm thankful for you for inspiring me to jump into this situation to make me go even further beyond my limits. And to say sorry about how I scolded you in front of the media and how I screamed in your face, but just to tell you this, that was reckless. And I also have another question, as Izuku said, what is it? Where did the sludge villain go? As Izuku said, and didn't the didn't you said that the sludge villain managed to run away? Well, that one idea, but when when the smoke was clearing, I saw through the smoke. Nobody else managed to notice it except me. I saw what it seemed to be a man with a staff and a card inside his chest. Do you know anything about that? A card inside his chest? Not really. As all my said, you said that you are quirkless, right? Yeah, I said that. As all might continue saying, then if you are really quirkless, where did that figure came from? As Izuku said, I don't really know, All Might. I'm just quirkless, you know that. Uh, well, maybe you're right, maybe it was just my imaginations. Either way, just to tell you this. Kid, I know that you might actually saved someone today, or I doesn't really quite understand what happened. Just to tell you this. Maybe you should go and do a quirk test or something like that. I'm still quite wondering what was the thing that I saw. But either way, if if you manage to actually get a quirk, well, I would say that you can be a great hero with your, you know, kind of personality, but if you didn't, please just search for a new dream. Some things are not achievable. Believe me, I know this myself. I kind of understand what you're feeling. Well, either way, I'll have to go as He's All Might just slide away and Izuku just standing there after hearing to All Might words that this time it didn't seem as, well, hard, harmful and strong as before. And Izuku said, <laughs> well, now I kind of feel a little bit okay and maybe I should really do a quirk, you know, test. As Izuku said, but first of all, what's wrong with this? And suddenly the card that inside Izuku's hand fly out of his hand and fall onto the ground as Izuku said, what the? And from the card, what it seemed to be a handing starts coming out and Izuku said, what the? As something starts dragging himself out of the card, slowly and slowly, Izuku seeing what it seemed to be a figure with a heart shape on his face, with a big card on side his chest, holding his staff, just levitating in front of him and Izuku said, what the hell? How? When? Are? As uh, suddenly, the faceless figure with the heart shape just holding his right arm in front of Izuku and Izuku look inside of it to see 
a card. Wait, what is this? As he looks closer to see that the face of the sludge villain, his real name, his code name, his quirk, is well described on the card. As Izuku said, what the hell? This is the sludge villain. As he flipped the well, the card to look uh, back and see more information that's just been written automatically. And Izuku said, what the hell are these? These are so detailed informations. As he look, he see the age, the time that he got his quirk, the specific time, even with the seconds, the thing that he love, the thing that he hate, the things that, the people that he hate, the things, uh, you know, the other kind of shit, a very detailed shit. Like Izuku start, you know, flipping through the paper is like a, you know, a touching bed. He just can flip. He's hearing the whole story of the sludge villain. He can just read it inside this one card. And Izuku said, this thing have, is this really all his informations? And what even are you? As the figure is just not talking, Izuku said, wait, all my, t wait, wait a minute. A giant card in your chest? Holding a staff? It's you, the thing that All Might talked about. You are my quirk. As the faceless figure is just, well, emotionless. <laughs> As Izuku said, what is, what is your ability? Is this all what I can do? Is there something else that I can do? As the guy just pointing on the card. And Izuku said, what about the card? As he just looking at it, remembering the, well, the face of the sludge villain. As suddenly something snapped inside Izuku's head saying, Wait, All Might said that, that the sludge villain disappeared randomly. Are you saying that this is the sludge villain? As the faceless figure is just not saying anything. As Izuku said, y How did you did this? As the faceless man go and touch a garbage can, turning it into a card and Izuku just looking inside of it saying, Well, a garbage can. Materials, metal, age, this much years, time, things, real name, you know, kind of an information. The one that made it, the one that, you know, sell it, and the one that bought it. The place that has been placed in, the people that's throwing their garbage inside, the kind of garbage that always been thrown inside, such a detailed information that, well... Much more than his own notebooks, as Izuku said, you can turn things into a cards. Can you turn the sludge villain back? As, well, the faceless man is not saying anything, or not even moving. As Izuku said, come on, turn it back. Turn it back, what are you doing? <sighs> I'm gonna search about this later. I'll, I'll have to give this into the police. As Izuku just put the card of the sludge villain inside his pockets and throwing the card of the garbage can because well it's a garbage can as he said so how can can you you know disappear and be disappear because you know it's not really legally a i'm not really legally able to use my quirk in the street as suddenly the faceless man starts melting inside his card and turning into a little card falling on the ground and izuku just looking inside of it to see the face of him and well his shape as izuku said huh. Well, I am actually got a quirk. Maybe finally I can become a real hero. As Izuku just putting the card inside his pocket and start running happy back into his house. While a man from far away watching him from the skies. Flying inside a giant paper. Saying, huh, so this is his stand. Interesting. Able to turn things into cards. Hmm. I'm gonna have to understand more about that kid. But now... Let me search about more stand users. As the man starts flying away. After saying to himself, This stand need a name. Hmm. He's able to make cards. And he's holding a staff. How about King Card? That will be a good name. As the guy starts flying away after thinking about that stand, King Card. The ability to turn anybody into, well, cards. That's what he's thinking about right now, but he shut, you know, shut, just shut, um, what am I not even, he just shake this thought away and fly away to search for a new stand users. And while that happening, Izuku just going back into his house, trying to talk with her about his new ability or quirk, and in the end he just gone into his room sleeping for the night. 
And this is I'm gonna leave it off, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me what you think about this part and what do you think to you know will gonna happen in the next part. But also for JoJo fans, give me your names for this stand down in the description. I want to hear your own ideas and names. Give me a bizarre ideas, all right? Well, either than that, I doesn't have anything more to say than Severed was here.